Uh, hello everyone, Analytics. So Global Battery Metals LTD. I had this market on my radar for a long time and I think there is a good opportunity to do some investment and buying this market. The market started a correction from 1996 and finished it at 2020. So 20 four years to be honest a clear five wave structure here uh, by the way before i continue i'm gonna answer all these questions you will see here for this market uh, so uh, the correction in my opinion is over and the market is going up so let's get back to the checklist what's my hypothesis two things can happen we can say we had the first wave the corrective second wave corrective and we are going down or i can say the correction is over and the market is going up i can't confirm unless we go for a wave five and the five wave structure is complete then probably we are on an uptrend channel in this video my assumption is that we are going for a wave five so this is my whole assumption and do i see wave patterns i recognize 100 percent sure a five wave impulsive pattern in a monthly chart this is clear we had the wave X finished perfectly at 50% the FIBO ratio and the wave Y here, which is also terminated short. The trend channel is broken. Now I'll go to the daily chart. So on the daily chart, sorry, let me go to the eight hour chart so you can see all the details. The first wave, the wave one is clear, wave two almost at the 32%. So we had a short wave two. And based on the rule of alteration, we should expect a deep wave for the different structure that you can see here is some sort of zigzag. The only issue I have that wave three didn't finish at the FIBO target, finished slightly lower. You can see the Elio trend channel, the wave four correction just touched the Elio trend channel, which is a good thing and we have reached the first FIBO target. So everything suggests that we might see some sort of up movement in this market. If I go to the 45 minutes chart, again, the structure, a clear WXY I can observe here. Dimensionality also makes sense. I'm seeing a perfect triangle here. Usually the last wave of the correction and a perfect impulsive. So when I put all these evidence together, it makes sense also let's go back to the uh, chart what is the best alternative wave count the only way i can confirm the alternative wave count is that the market comes down and touches touches the top of the wave one which is at 0 0.17 if that doesn't happen i can't say i can't reject the hypothesis of an uptrend and a shorter time frame the only alternative wave count is that this is going to be some sort of triangle or any form of complex corrections and because that is not confirmed and the other thing is that we had the we are going to have a zigzag so from here we will see another wave down and then go up and i cannot confirm that scenario as well because i'm not seeing any evidence uh okay where am i wrong and turn on your technical indicators let's turn on the technical indicators i just use basic ones 50 day moving average 200 day moving average and this is it so we are at a 50 day moving average okay so that could be the support level and close to the uh, trend channel we also have the 200 day moving average the market makes sense even to come down to the 200 day moving average so from the moving average point of view it is possible but currently we see that at least in the 45 minutes chart the daily moving average 50 is broken if we go to the rsi on the I think that was the daily chart. Let me see which RSI should I use. Yeah, on the daily chart, you can see we are observing some sort of negative divergence between wave two and four. This is also the RSI is around 40, which is the support level for uptrend. So from the RSI point of view, also it makes sense that we will see some sort of bounce back. On a bigger degree wave, for uh, the 50 day moving average is working as a support for wave four in a bigger degree. That also makes sense. Uh, okay, now let's go to the trade setup. 
usually you have to buy when the wave 4 gets broken and you can see a strong wave up i might wait to see if the trend channel gets broken and then i will enter the market the stop loss will be at 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 is the stop loss uh, where do i enter the trade i will enter when the trade i will enter when the trade channel gets broken i will enter the trade where is the initial stop loss the initial stop loss is at 0 0.40 what is the possible price target to take profit okay in a big picture in a big picture i'm expecting the market to go all the way up for the wave five okay and i only confirm that when the top of the wave three gets broken so currently because i'm not sure if this is a x wave or an uptrend i'm not going to have to give you a price target but if this is going to be the wave five the price target is so easy to predict the price target should be around 4.57 in a uh, in a bigger degree to be honest by the way this is the logarithmic chart the current price is 0 0.6 it might sound stupid the price to go for to 4.57 but keep in mind this is the logarithmic chart okay so i'm analyzing everything based on a logarithmic chart so in maybe couple in weeks or months times the market has the potential even to go to 4.57 how do i manage the position when it is open so to manage your positions couple of things you need to pay attention i'll go to the 30 minutes chart okay it seems that we are on a first wave okay this first wave might go up and probably we will come back touch the trend channel okay you might see some consolidation at the beginning of the triangle as well okay usually the best way to manage the position when the market comes back for example it goes up comes back up draw your elio trend channels and make sure this trend channel is not broken if it breaks that could be a warning sign and this is it i i think i answered all the question Keep this market on your radar. There might be a good profit in this. Thanks for watching and have a good day.